Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. I give you praise. I give you honor, my Jesus. We exalt and honor you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you, Lord, for this wonderful opportunity, for this wonderful time in your presence. Thank you, Jesus. We love you. We bless you. We honor you in the name of the Lord Jesus. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for your presence. Thank you for your glory in the name of the Lord Jesus. We lift you, Lord God, and we honor you in the name of Jesus Christ. You are a good God. You are a wonderful God. Receive the glory. Receive the honor. Receive the praises. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, thank you, thank you, in Jesus' name we pray. Hallelujah. Greetings, everyone. Greetings there. I want to welcome you to our uh, Wednesday service. I trust I find you well. Wherever you are watching me from, I want to say uh, greetings in the name of Jesus. And I want to um, send my love to you in the name of the lord jesus so today i want us to get into the word of god and uh this is our core business this is our core business so we are getting into the word of god and uh we want to hear the word of god because out of this word our faith grows and uh out of this faith we know god better we become more and more like God. So this evening, I don't want to keep you for long. I just want us to get straight to, to the business of the day and hear the word of the Lord. Let's come to the book of Acts chapter 16. The book of Acts chapter 16. I'll take my reading from um, verse 18 and um, I'll go through to... 27. Okay, let's read. Okay, let's start on 17 actually. The same followed Paul and Silas, followed Paul and us, and they cried, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High, which show us this, the way of salvation. And this did she many days, but Paul. Being grieved, turned and said to the Spirit, I command thee in the name of Jesus Christ to come out of here. And he came out of the same hour. And when he master saw that the hope of their gains was gone, um, they caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers and brought them to the magistrate, saying, These men being Jews, do exceeding trouble in our city, and they teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive, neither to, ob to observe, being Romans. And the multitude rose up together against them, and the magistrate rent off their clothes, and commanded to beat them. And when they laid many stripes upon them, they cast them into prison, charging the jailer to keep them safely. Who, having received such a charge, thrust them into the inner prison and made their feet fast in stocks, in the stocks. And at midnight, Paul and Silas prayed and sang praises unto God, and the prisoners heard them. And suddenly there was a great earthquake, so that the foundation of the prison was shaken, and immediately. All doors were opened, take note of that, and everyone's bands were loosed. And the keeper of the prison awaking out of his sleep, seeing the prison door open, he drew out his sword and would have killed himself, supposing that the prisoners had been fled. But Paul cried with a loud voice, saying, Do thyself no harm, for we are all here. Let us go again. To the book of um, Second Timothy, Second Timothy chapter two. I'm just gonna read verse nine, and then uh, 
That's all. Wherein I suffer trouble as an evildoer, even unto bonds, but the word of God is not bound. God bless the reading of his word this evening. This evening I want to talk about uh, something here very important. The title of this message is In Prison, but not the prison in you. Oh, in prison, but the prison not in you. We are seeing the situation here of this man of God, Paul and Silas. The Bible says after they casted out a demon from that slave girl, they were dragged by the people to the marketplace and they were taken to the magistrate because they had committed something, they had violated their rights according to them. And these men accused them and said, these men are teaching people customs that are anti-Roman customs. And they were taken to the magistrate and the Bible says they were beaten. And after being beaten, they were thrust into the prison. All I like here, I want you to see, the Bible says they were put, they, they, they commanded the keeper of the jailer to keep them. And the keeper of the jailer put them in the inner cell where they were kept very, very securely so that they will never, never escape. But the Bible says at midnight, Paul and Silas rose up. They began to sing praises unto God. Oh my Jesus, oh my Jesus. I want to speak to you to the, tonight. I want you to see something here. The title that of a message is, they were in prison, but they never allowed the prison to be in them. They were in prison, but they never allowed the prison to be in them. I would like you to see something here. You can be in a situation, but you are not defeated. It's not a problem to be in that situation. You are only defeated when you allow the situation to be in you. The men in prison never allowed the prison to be in them. They rose up from at midnight. They began to bring what was in them out. They began to bring that which was hidden in them. What was in them is not the prison. What was in them is the praises. They were full of praise. They were full of the presence of God, such that they never recognized that they were in prison. They never allowed the prison to come into their heart. They never allowed the prison to be in them. This is the challenge of many people. When they get into the situation, they allow that situation to get in them. And then because of that, they will never be able to come out of the situation. The reason why you take longer in that situation is because you have allowed the situation to be in you. Paul and Silas never lasted long in prison. Why? Because they never allowed the prison to be in them. They were in prison, but they never allowed the prison to be in them. I remember even David when he speaks in the book of Psalms. He said, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, oh. David is is showing us that you can walk through the valley. David is showing us that you can walk through the valley. But the greatest mistake you must never make is to allow the valley to be in you. The moment you allow the valley to come in you, that valley you are going to stay longer in the valley. They never allowed the prison to be in them. They were in prison, but the prison is not in them. What I want you to see, many people are in situations. It's not a problem that you are in that situation, but the problem comes when you allow that situation to be in you. God has brought you in that situation. It's an opportunity for you to see the power of God. Why are you in that situation? Why are you going through what you're going through? It's an opportunity for you to see the power of God. It's an opportunity for you to experience God's power. Remember what Moses said to the children of Israel when they were standing before the sea. He said, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. It's an opportunity for you to see the power of God. They were in prison. 
but they never allowed the prison to be in them. They began to sing praises. Oh my God, they began to sing praises. They began to bring out what was in them. They were full of the presence of God. They began to change their environment with what they were carrying. They sing praises. This was unthinkable. This was, uh, this was unheard of. You are in prison, but you begin to praise God in prison. In that situation, you must begin to praise God. You must begin to, to worship God. In that situation, you must begin to, 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 re, to release that which is in you. Paul and Silas, they began to worship God. They began to sing praises. And the Bible says there was an earthquake. Oh my God, there was an earthquake. And the earthquake came and shook everything. The, the doors were opened. Oh my Jesus. Doors were opened when they began to sing praises. Doors were opened. The doors of the, the band that were tied in their lives, it, the chains fell off. And the chains even of all the, the prisoners, they fell off. Why? Because they never allowed the prison to be in them. They were in prison, but in them, they were full of the presence of God. They were full of praises. When you are in that situation, what matters is what you bring out. What matters is what is in you. When you allow that situation to be in you, you will sink in that situation. I want to give you an example. It is not bad for a ship to be in water. Actually, the ship needs the water to move, but it is a terrible thing when the water gets into the ship. The ship will sink. Many people, they don't understand this concept. You are in that situation to see the power of God, but the moment you allow the situation to get in you, the moment you allow stress to get in you, you are going to be in depression. The moment you allow hatred to get in you, you are going to be bitter. Bitterness is because somebody has allowed hatred to get in them. Oh my God. They were in prison, but the prison was not in them. You can be in that situation, but never allow the situation to be in you. Never allow that situation to get in you. You can be discouraged. Yes, you can pass through discouragement. You can pass through things that are not pleasant. But don't allow those things to get in you. Yes, they were in prison, but they never allowed the prison to be in them. They sang praises and they managed to attract the power of God. And the power of God brought deliverance. Deliverance brought open doors. Open doors. And after doors were opened, the 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 the, the chains that were binding their lives were broken. All I want you to know is that in that situation there is a way that you can attract the, the presence of God. How do you attract the presence of God? Bring out that which is in you. Bring out the presence of God. We read in the book of, of, of 2 Timothy, the Bible says that we are in bonds but the word of God is not bound. You may be in a situation but remember the word of God is not bound. You may be in a situation you may be going through things right now. But remember, the word of God is not bound. Release the word of God in that situation. Release the presence of God in that situation. I have never seen such a prison break. Oh my God. I see a prison break. I see you breaking away from that prison. I see you breaking away from that situation. I see you breaking away from that trap. You are trapped in that prison. People have different prisons that are there. They are trapped in. Why are they trapped? Because they allowed these prisons to be in them. I want you to realize something. Never allow the prison to be in you. You are going to break out of that prison when you bring out the presence of God that is in your life. We are in sin. We are bound. We may be in bonds. But the word of God is not, is not bound. We may be in debt, but the word of God is not bound. We may be bitter, but the word of God is not bound. We may be discouraged, but the word of God is not bound. We may be in terrible situations, but the word of God is not bound. I don't know the kind of prison that you may be going through. I don't know the situation you are going through right now. Don't allow the situation to be in you. Refuse. These men never lasted in prison because they never allowed the prison to be in them. They were in in prison but the prison was not in them what are you going through don't allow the situation to be in you bring out what is in you bring out what is in you bring out that presence it is the one that brings deliverance what great deliverance the doors were opened I see doors opened oh my Jesus Christ I see the chains falling off why because the men never allowed the prison to be in them when the devil wants to keep you long in that prison he will cause the prison to be in you never allow that prison to enter you. Be in prison. Walk through the situation. The Bible says you will pass through the 
with fire and I'll be with you. You will go through the waters and I'll be with you. Yeah. Why? Go through the water, but don't allow the water to get in you. Go through the fire. Don't allow the fire to get in you. You will go through things, but God is going to be with you in prison, but the prison was not in them. Tonight, I don't want to go for a long time, but whatever prison right now you are in, Whatever situation you are in right now, I want to pray with you. I want to pray with you. Let's bring what is in us. Let's change the environment. Yes, they, they, let's change the prison. Whatever prison it is, it can be changed to be a place of the presence of God. We can release the presence of God in that situation. Let's change. Let's release the presence of God right now. Join me right now as I pray. Join me as I pray. Tonight we want to pray. Tonight prisons must break. Tonight, limitations must break. Oh. Tonight, uh, whatever cage that is holding God's people must break. Tonight, we want to break prison. I see prison break. Let God's people be released from the prison. Let's pray right now. Begin to pray wherever you are. Begin to pray right now. Father, I break loose from the prison. Father, I release your people from prison. I release them from the cage. I release them from the prison of discouragement. I release them from the prison of the uh, of bitterness. I release them from the prison of poverty. I release them from the prison of, of Seberg. I release them from the prison of debt. I release them from the prison of Seberg. I release them from the prison of sickness. I release them. Be released. What is the prison that you are right now? I command your, the presence of God in that prison. Let there be a manifestation of the power of God. Break loose from that prison. 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 You are breaking loose. You are breaking further. Doors are opening. Chains are falling away. Door, declare, declare, declare with me that doors are opening. Chains are falling away. We are, we are not allowing that situation. We are refusing to succumb to the situation. We are refusing to succumb to the situation. We are refusing to refuse. We are refusing to succumb to that situation. You are breaking loose right now. I see prison breaking. I see many people coming out of the cage. You are coming out of the cage. That cage of witchcraft. That cage of limitation. You are coming out of the cage. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, glory to God. Glory to God. They were in prison, but the prison was not in them. They were in prison, but the prison was not in them. What is, are you going through? Never allow that situation to be in you. I feel the presence of God is touching you right now. The presence of God is right where you are. Yes, uh, prisons are breaking. Yes, chains are falling. Chains are falling. That yoke is falling. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Chains are falling. That yoke is falling. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Oh, glory. Receive your deliverance. Receive your deliverance. Receive your healing. Receive your freedom. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I thank you, Lord, right now. Those that need breakthrough, grant them breakthrough. Lord, those that are praying for something, grant them the answer. Lord God, hear them, hear them, hear them. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, we bless you and we honor you. Thank you for testimonies. Thank you, Lord God, for testimonies. Thank you for breakthroughs. Thank you, Lord God, for raising them spiritually. Thank you, Lord God, for raising them spiritually. Yes, in every cage, even in your spiritual life, you are trying to grow, but it seems there's a cage. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, you are being released. You are being released. You are being released. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, oh, glory to God, people of God. They were in prison, but the prison was not in them. I want to thank you, people of God. I don't want to keep you for long today. And I believe God has done something excellent. The presence of God is right where you are. Continue, continue in this presence. Continue in this presence even after this. Continue in the name of Jesus Christ, people of God. God bless you so much for joining me in this service. Let it be well with you. The grace of the Lord Jesus Christ, the love of the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you again forever and ever. Your servant in the Lord, Prophet Lord Gangata, you are blessed. Join me again on Sunday. We'll be together there on Sunday. 
You are blessed. Thank you.